This video is sponsored by the Magic Candle Company. Thanks, guys. Welcome to Adventureland at Disneyland Park. Be sure to explore to your heart's content. Visit the Temple of the Forbidden Eye with Dr. Henry Indiana Jones. Sing along with the Tiki Birds at Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Or take a trip down the rivers of Africa provided by the JNC on the Jungle Cruise. Or maybe you're like me, an explorer, in which case you'll want to visit Tarzan's treehouse at the gateway to New Orleans Square, where you can travel across the rope bridge, viewing iconic characters and scenes from your favorite Disney movies as long as they're Tarzan. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Oh my! Okay, well, I guess you can't do that now if you visit Adventureland because Tarzan's treehouse has now become Tarzan's fabric wall. On September 3rd of last year, 2021, Tarzan's Treehouse, a very popular walkthrough attraction near New Orleans Square, right on sort of the boundary between New Orleans Square and Adventureland, closed down for an unscheduled refurbishment. Okay, well, a little paint and polish here and there. That never hurt anyone. Well into 2022, those tarps were still up. This was something more than your average paint and polish. This wasn't just a refurbishment. They were doing something crazy back there. We weren't sure what until in April of 2022, very recently, if you remember, Disney released a statement to the OC Register saying that Tarzan's Treehouse would be getting a brand new theme. Now the problem here is that we don't know any details about one, when it's going to reopen, and two, what that new theme and backstory are supposed to be. And that, my friends, is where I come in. I am the rumor spreader. I am the rumor mill itself. Today I'm here to share with you my insider knowledge about what may or may not end up happening to Tarzan's treehouse in Adventureland. I have three prevailing conspiracy theories that I would like to share with you today. These three are what I consider to be the most probable changes that they will make to the treehouse. Are they correct? It's not guaranteed. Are they likely? Yeah, I actually... I actually think they're very likely. So, I mean, everybody's been talking about this ever since they announced the change to the tree, and I think it's the easiest choice. It's the most obvious choice, but I don't think it's the most realistic. But it is, you know, probably the most popular, and that is the newer Walt Disney Animation Studios motion picture event, the smash hit that was the Disney Plus early release movie, Encanto. This could be the Encanto Treehouse. How would that make sense? So here's the thing that had everybody in the Disney community sort of talking about it before Disney even closed down Tarzan's, and that's a character named Antonio in the movie has a treehouse in his sort of like spirit room. Everyone gets their own room based around their personalities and powers, and this treehouse in his room, it looks familiar. And yes, you know, it is sort of a treehouse, and even this picture of it in the movie, it bears a striking resemblance to the old layout of Tarzan's treehouse. Here you can see the stump where you would enter, the rope bridge that you would cross to get to the main part of the treehouse, and then, you know, the rest of it. And so at the beginning of this movie's rise, everyone was sort of speculating that this would be the replacement for Tarzan's treehouse, because, you know, Tarzan, we, he, nobody cares about him <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Why would, it, why would anybody want a Tarzan attraction? Pfft, not me. Nope. And so, based on the fact that they look pretty much exactly alike, people started running with this theory that Encanto was taking over Tarzan's treehouse, especially when Disney shut it down for that refurb that ended up turning into a retheme. A lot of people were calling it, and now it ends up looking like that may just be the case. But then Disney did something that all of the Encanto fans weren't expecting. Remember that whole tree trunk that connects to the main tree via a rope bridge that exists both in the film Encanto and in the Tarzan's Treehouse attraction? Well, Disney decided that they didn't need that stump anymore. They were just going to go through the old entrance to the treehouse. A callback to the past, if you will. But we're not going to talk about that right now. That's for the next entry on the list. But the one thing that made these two treehouses look alike was now gone. And so now we have to ask ourselves, is Encanto still happening? Was this because Disney's going with a different theme, or did they just want to clear up the pathway between Adventureland and New Orleans Square for, you know, phantasmic viewing and middle-of-the-day crowds, oh, to get to Pirates of the Caribbean, which, you know, actually makes sense. It could be either one of those, but either way, that stump is coming down, if not down already. And so now we have to ask ourselves, okay, what are they doing? 
Now as for how likely the Encanto retheme of Tarzan's Treehouse is, I would give this like a I'd give this like a 70% chance of being accurate. It's very, very likely, although there are some things that are, you know, sort of holding me back a little bit. Disney loves their intellectual properties. Encanto is an intellectual property, but that's not the only IP that Disney has relating to Adventureland and treehouses. That's right, we're going into our next entry on this list, and that's not Encanto. It's the Swiss Family Treehouse. Yes, the original Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse may be making its return to Disneyland. How's this? All the latest innovations. Running water, genuine imported tortoiseshell. I can't believe it. <laughs> Darling, thank you. Well, if that isn't the most 1960s thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Swiss Family Robinson was released to the American public in 1960, and it was an immediate smash hit. Think of it like the Encanto of its time. The movie is about a Swiss family named Robinson, of course, who wash up on a marooned island and build an amazing, extremely intuitive treehouse. And the movie was so successful that in 1963, an attraction based on it opened at Disneyland under the the tutelage of Walt Disney himself, known as the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Now, all of my Orlando friends watching this, you all still have the Swiss Family Treehouse, but over in Anaheim, we haven't had it since the 90s. Like I said earlier when we were talking about Encanto, back in the old days of the Swiss Family Treehouse, you did not go up the stump and then cross the bridge. Instead, you went up through what is today the exit, or what was the exit. This made for a slightly shorter attraction, but the theming was immaculate. It was so immaculate, in fact, that most of it ended up staying around for the re-theming into Tarzan's Treehouse. Even that classic Swiss Family Robinson theme song was able to be heard while walking through. Now here is why I think there is a non-zero chance that Disney may revert the treehouse back to the Swiss family. Now I have two main prevailing reasons why I think there is a non-zero chance that the Swiss family treehouse may end up making its return to Disneyland, and that is one, we have a brand new entry in the Swiss Family Robinson Chronicles coming to Disney+. Plus. And what does Disney absolutely love right now? That's tying in the parks with Genie+. Plus. You have Moon Knight appearing in Avengers Campus, Boba Fett at Galaxy's Edge. They want these characters from their Disney Plus shows to show up in the parks. And what better way than by bringing back the Swiss Family Treehouse? That way you're not just appeasing one group, the people who like the new Disney Plus show slash movie, you're also appealing to the second group of Disneyland purists, the people who love the original Disneyland attractions, people who grew up with the Swiss Family Robinson. Walt Disney did the Swiss Family Treehouse and Disney is probably looking to kill two birds with one stone. They want to appease these classic Disneyland fans by bringing back a classic attraction, one of the very, very few times Disney has done that, and two, tie it in with Disney Plus, baby. It's that easy. Disney can have a tie-in with Disney Plus in the parks, and they can appease those classic Disneyland fans. I honestly think that this isn't a dumb idea. I think this is very, very possible. And not only is it possible, I think that it's a very, very smart choice to revert it back to the Swiss Family Treehouse. It's the one that I'm hoping happens. If we end up getting in Kanto, that's fine. I'm probably not going to be upset about it because, you know, it's extremely popular right now. But the chance that this may happen, you know, it keeps me up at night. And the final reason I think that this actually may end up happening, they haven't done anything to the Walt Disney World tree. Now, sure, in the 90s, they just kept it the same because they could, but the fact that they didn't announce a change coming to the theming for the Swiss Family Treehouse in Orlando, it has me questioning whether or not Encanto is actually the most likely re-theme. I, I don't know. I don't think it is now. I, I'm going with Swiss Family Robinson being more likely. That way, hint, hint, they don't have to do anything to the Orlando tree. They can just keep it as is, maybe with a new coat of paint, add some pictures of the new actors they choose to play the family, but 
It would be a few very light touches to tie it into the Disney Plus show so those people who saw it and liked it when they go up in the treehouse, they recognize some things. It wouldn't be a complete overhaul into Antonio's treehouse. I don't know, the fact that they haven't mentioned anything, not one thing about Orlando's tree receiving a retheme, it sort of has me raising an eyebrow a bit. And also, how lovely is this footage playing in the background right now? Who wouldn't want to relive these Swiss family days? Now everyone, be sure to gather in close because there is one more possibility that I think may end up happening. One that nobody has really considered before. A possibility so secret that we whisper of it in hushed tones so that Disney themselves may not hear. One that I think a lot of us would be okay with. One that's not tied to any movie or TV show. A brand new treehouse, one that is instead tied in to the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Oh yeah, I went there. And no, I would never joke about SEA. I am deathly serious about this. So do you remember all of the reasons I gave as to why the Swiss Family Treehouse may end up returning to Disneyland? Well, just do all of those reasons, but again, for the SEA Explorers Treehouse. They are getting their own Disney Plus series slash movie, I don't know, at this point. At some point, though, they are going to get one, and Disney loves synergy. If you notice, the Incredicoaster opened just around the same time that The Incredibles 2 opened in theater. Disney can get people excited about the opening of the SEA Treehouse by premiering the brand new SEA series, or vice versa. That way they get more fans in the parks to experience this walkthrough attraction that they might not have stopped by otherwise. And also, Tied into like Disney classics and people liking these classic attractions like Swiss Family Treehouse, SEA isn't tied to any IP. It's not based off of a movie or a television show. It's a park original and Disney Parks fans, as far as I know, as far as I've researched, everyone sort of loves the SEA. They love all the secret touches that you can find throughout the parks regarding the SEA. And so I think Disney Parks fans at their hearts, like me, would enjoy this. In Kanto, yes, it's easy. It's a it's a popular IP that they could just slap on the treehouse and be done with. Swiss Family and the SEA, I think, are a bit more experimental, a bit more brave for Disney to do, especially SEA. What I want them to do, oh, what I want them to do is make it sort of like Fortress Explorations, where instead of just peering into these scenes through netting in the walls, you can go into these scenes, like the bedroom or the, 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 the camp scene, and play with different things in there. There's little things you can find and open up the drawers, shuffle through some papers, cook some food, use your Play Disney Parks app to have the phonograph play the Swiss Family theme song slash the D Mystic Manor theme song. Disney, let us enter these scenes. I think it's so weird going up into Tarzan slash Swiss Family Treehouse in Orlando and just looking at these scenes through the netting or over like a barrier. It seems very unnatural. Letting us enter these scenes and interact with them, I think... I know would go a long way for the attraction. And that's not even to mention how far this attraction would go in boosting the theming for not only Adventureland, which it is a part of, but also New Orleans Square, which it is a gateway to. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know that I am a fan of a certain theory revolving around a certain pirate named Jean Lafitte. Okay, yes, it's John Lafitte, a character who at some point in Disneyland's history was going to combine together all of New Orleans Square into this one cohesive story helmed by Imagineer Eddie Sato. Lafitte was a pirate who would be mentioned in Pirates of the Caribbean, and he would also have his crypt right outside the Haunted Mansion, where you would go into that crypt, cross underneath the Rivers of America, and pop out on Tom Sawyer Island, all the while journeying through these super piratey catacombs. It was an amazing idea! And now it seems to me like Disney is obsessed with these overarching stories, telling a big story within the smaller stories of the land. And the SEA seems like it is the perfect way now to combine all of these attractions together into one story, the same way Lafitte was going to do, but never ended up happening. The Society's presence is felt very heavily within the Tropical Hideaway, the Jungle Cruise most of all, I would say, but also the Indiana Jones Adventure. They are also present, though, in the Haunted Mansion, one of the two e-tickets in New Orleans Square, and this way, the Society of Explorers and Adventurers Explorers Treehouse would serve as sort of a narrative transition between the two lands, something that I think really, I'm, I'm like talking myself into it at this point, really needs to happen. 
Is it as likely as the Swiss Family Treehouse coming back? I don't think so. Is the Swiss Family Treehouse coming back as likely as Encanto taking over? Unfortunately, I don't think so. But friends, anything can happen, and while I'm sort of more leaning towards Swiss Family coming back, I hope in my heart of hearts I wish that the SEA Treehouse would come to pass, but you know. Who knows? And uh, judging by some really big news regarding the Splash Mountain re-theme that Disney sort of unofficially sort of leaked earlier this week, they just wait for me to release a video before they end up making a statement on anything. So within the next couple weeks here, expect an announcement on what Tarzan's Treehouse will be rethemed into. I promise you, they wait for me to make the video, and then they release it. So there you have it, everybody. Those are my three sort of educated guesses as to what Tarzan's Treehouse could become in the very near future. We don't know for sure what's going to be happening. We just know that the stump is gone and we most likely will be going up the old exit. Everything else beyond that is pure conjecture. Did I miss any potential themes that you would like to see take over the treehouse? Maybe you want to see an Emperor's New Groove Cusco-topia treehouse. You know, thinking about that now, we could always go for more Patrick in the parks. Maybe an Atlantis-themed treehouse. I don't know how that would make sense narratively, but that kind of fits into Adventureland. What would you like to see take over the former Tarzan's treehouse when it eventually reopens? We don't know when that's going to be, but for now, we can only stare longingly at those tarps and wonder to ourselves when the SEA is going to finally infiltrate the last corner of Adventureland where they haven't been seen yet. Hopefully soon. Maybe not ever, but hopefully soon. But now my office smells like the jungle. All of this talking about Tarzan's treehouse has made my office smell like the jungle. Why is that? How does that make any sense? Oh, it's the candle. Oh, it's today's sponsor! The Magic Candle Company- hey, did, did you all know that they actually sold Magic Candle Company candles inside the park at Universal Studios? But you can't use offer code OFFHAND15 for 15% off your purchase if you're in the park, because you can only do that at their website, magiccandlecompany.com. I just thought that was funny, selling Disney scents in a universal park. You can make your home or office smell exactly like Tarzan's treehouse by using this secret combination of candles that I, myself, offhand Disney, have come up with. Alright, get out your notepad. Are you paying attention? It's going to be the Orleans candle, the Tiki Terrace candle, and the Flyin' Over Orange Groves candle. Light all of those at the same time, and you will make your home or office smell exactly like the treehouse that is currently closed in Adventureland. If you would rather forget about the treehouse, they have plenty of other scents like flying over Fiji, Walter's office, and confectionery. And yes, even one that smells like the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction with Pirate's Life. Head over to themagiccandlecompany.com and remember to use offer code OFFHAND15 at checkout to get 15% off your order and help support the channel at the same time. Don't let the name deceive you though, they're tricky. It's not just candles. They also have room sprays, hand sanitizers, hand soap, bath products, and so, so much more. Me personally, here's a little insight into my life. I like using the foaming Floridian hand soap, dump that into my 50th anniversary Mickey-shaped soap dispenser, and just a... Uh, Imagine that I'm at the Grand Floridian. Remember, offer code OFFHAND15 for 15% off everything, and thank you to the Magic Candle Company for sponsoring this video. Hey there, uh, so quick update. As of me recording this, they have completely removed the stump for Tarzan's Treehouse from New Orleans slash Adventureland. So that's just a clean, straight shot to Pirates of the Caribbean without a stump or rope bridge blocking your path. Does this make my Swiss Family Treehouse prediction even more likely? I don't know. But what I do know is that Disney likes making announcements after I make videos, so just keep an eye out. Watch for the Swiss Family slash Encanto slash SEA Treehouse announcement within the next couple of weeks here because they love making me look like a fool. And you know what? I can't blame them. I love making me look like a fool too. So now, like I said earlier, what are your thoughts on the re-theming of Tarzan's Treehouse? Do you wish Tarzan's would have stayed? Are you looking forward to whatever they theme it after? And if you are, what are they going to theme it after? What do you think? Are you leaning more towards Encanto, SEA, or are you going to go completely, completely off the rails here and say Emperor's New Groove, Lilo and Stitch, Donald Duck. Donald gets a boat in Toontown. Why not give him a tree in Adventureland? It only makes sense. But until Disney does announce a change tomorrow, we can only speculate and hope and wonder what if anything, is going to replace Tarzan's treehouse. S-E-A, 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 S-E-A.
ऐसी Hello everybody and welcome to the end card for this video. Thanks for sticking with me until the very end of the video. If you've made it this far, you are a true friend. Thank you so much. And you know what? Maybe we should have like a code word like we did back in the old days to let me know that you stayed until the end of the video. So let's do like, um, let's do like, let's, let's, let's do Turk. Turk, you know, the character from Tarzan. Put Turk in your comment somewhere so I know that you made it to the end of the video. Thank you all so much. Thank you to my Patreon patrons over at patreon.com slash offhand Disney. They help keep this channel running, chugging along like a regular Disneyland slash, well, maybe not the Disney World Railroad. That's a, that's a bad comparison. It hasn't run in a couple years. They help keep this channel going. If you want early access to some videos, to some behind the scenes things, head over to the Patreon link in the description down below. And even just $1 a month will get you access to most of the perks. Also, be sure to follow me on my other social media accounts. I am Offhand Disney on all of them, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Those are the main three. Twitter, I'm the most active on, but uh, keep an eye out on TikTok because I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I truly am. You can also watch all of my live streams that I've done in the past. I actually have a link to that in the description down below as well if you're interested in checking out those live streams. I'm going to try and do it more often. I've been sort of slacking on the live stream front, and I, I, I love it. I love doing it. I love talking with you all in real time. So there is a link in the description down below, and keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on your sub box. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I do end up going live at some point. And that about wraps it up, everyone. Thank you all again so much for watching this video. Staying tuned until the end. All of my Patreon supporters and those who comment, leave a like and subscribe. You all mean so much to me, and I will see you all in the next video, which is going to be fun. I, I, I'm excited for it. Goodbye.